So I actually called this guy Keith Grano from Selway Machine Tool. Keith is one of the top salespeople for Selway Machine Tool. Basically, I called him up, I said, Keith, I'm gonna make my own shop. And he's like, all right. And I said, I wanna quote four machines. Let's do it. And he's like, you gonna do a shop? You got money? And I'm like, no, I got nothing. The quote came back, $289,000. You gotta understand, I didn't even own my car. Like, I didn't even own like a house. Like four years ago, five years, you know, six years ago or something, like I was incarcerated, right? So like, I didn't even have the experience, a little bit more more like eight, nine years. But you know what I mean? I just didn't have the credit, I didn't have anything. And then all of a sudden it was 200 and almost $300,000 and it was such a large amount, right? So. I tried to, I, I was like, you know, can I finance it? Can I do this? Oh, we'll get back to you. And then something happened. My phone rang and it was a guy named Jeff Weaver. You on the Facebook group, you guys already know, like you, you, you see him on there, right? And Jeff was an old machinist that worked on my night shift. And basically I was paying him, you know, a certain amount and it was probably more than what you know, he was worth, but I trusted him, right? And I don't say more than what he was worth. I just mean like, you know, his, his eyes were going, his hands were going, you know, he was on a manual machine and, um, you know, he was working on the night shift and I trusted him to keep everybody kind of else in line and stuff, right? So I don't want to say, you know, I was paying him more than what he was worth. I'm just saying like, like he was there because I could trust him and he just was a good man not so much because of the productivity, right? But let me get back to it. So he calls me and he's like, hey, Titan, my, um, my parents just passed. And I'm like, oh, dude, like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. And he's like, you know what? They, um, they left me $50,000 and that's all, I, that's, that's all I have in this world besides my, my wife and, you know, my house and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, he's like, I want to give that $50,000 to you. And I was like, dude, like, uh, like, I'm not going to take that 50,000. I'm not taking it. Like, I'm not going to take it, you know, and, and stuff. And he's like, he's like, like, I want to give it to you. Like my hands are going, my eyes are going, like I can invest it. I can do this, but like, I'm not going to be working for that much longer. And like, you know, I used to own my own shop, you know, but I've seen what you can do. And like, I believe in you, Titan. I believe in you. And like, I just want to like give this to you. And I was like, Jeff, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take your money. Okay. I told him no. And then I went and tried knocking on doors and everything had stopped. Everything had stopped. And all of a sudden, like Keith came back and he's like, dude, they, they, um, they're not going to finance you, the machines. They actually denied you flat out, denied you on your credit. And I was like, oh man, like defeated, like defeated, like, oh man. And I just, I just, I kept moving forward, but I was like, man, if I ain't got no machines and I can't finance them, like my idea was to get a few months of free rent on the machines and meaning like the payments, like, and then actually make payments like three or four months down the line so that when I already had, you know, I was already getting money from my customers and stuff. So I didn't really know what to do. And then all of a sudden I get a call and the call is from Bill Selway. And then Bill Selway is the owner of Selway Machine Tool. And it's the biggest manufacturing like distributor on the, on the West Coast, right? So they distribute to Boeing and all the, from Washington down to San Diego to all the companies and stuff. And I mean, he's big time, right? And he calls me up, he's like, Titan. There's, and there's a couple times where he was like in my shop and he was just like, I was filling up, running some big parts and he was just like, oh man, this is like, that's like, take some talent. And I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? So he kind of knew about me and then he knew from Keith and he's like, I heard, I was going through a stack of papers and I actually looked and I realized I saw your name since you have a unique name, not like John, Jeff, you know, or 
bill or something, right? It was Titan, like it caught my eye and I'm like, there's only one Titan I know and that's that guy up there. So, you know, what do you want to do and why'd you get denied? And I'm like, well, I've had a hard life. You know, I've been working, but I got all this child support. I got all this, you know, $1,500 comes out of my net, you know? So, you know, I haven't built up credit. I don't own anything. I have a lot of talent. I have a plan, but um, they just didn't like it, right? So, you know, I don't really know what to do. And he's like, he's like, Titan, what's your plan? I said, well, I got somebody who's going to give me $50,000. It's his life savings. He's actually going to give me that money. Uh, I got customers lined up. I actually can pick and choose. So I'm actually going to go with these, these, this series of customers right here. And we're going to stack up vices. We're, we're going to maximize our workload. We're going to run. I'm going to work day and night, 24 hours a day on the weekends too. And I'm going to like just make it happen. And he basically looks at me as like Titan on the phone. He's on the phone, right? I'm getting intimate right now. But he's like Titan. Tell me where to drop off the machines. I haven't done this personally in nine years, but I am going to co-sign your loan. I'm gonna co-sign your loan and guarantee it and, and put everything on the line for you, Titan. You have an incredible vision and I wanna see you have your own machine shop. Like that's why I'm in business, to see guys like you rise up, guys who would never have an opportunity in life to see you guys rise up. And he's like, tell me where to deliver deliver the, the machines. So I just was like blown away. I called mm -hmm. Jeff, I meet with Jeff. I'm like, Jeff, if you give me the $50,000, I will triple it in two years. I'll give it back to you. And you give me 50, I will triple it. I'll give it back to you, all right? And he's like, done. I, his wife had never met me. We meet, my wife, you know, the wife's talking to me, me and Gina, and, and Elaine is basically, you know, talking about like, that's everything they have. Like, and she, trust me, she wasn't happy with Jeff over it, right? She wasn't happy with Jeff, but she's like, that's everything that we have. And we're giving it to you. And like my wife, like afterwards, she's like, like, you sure you can do this? Like. Are you sure you can do this? And I was like, I'm like, baby, like, I can do it. This is gonna happen. Like, this is my call. Like, I'm, I know that this is the path. Jeff worked for me for two years, but instead of paying him three times, I just told him, you know what? I'm gonna give you three times, and I'm gonna give you an extra $500,000. Over time, as I grew in success and everything, I looked back at him and I, and I thought to myself, you know what, I would have nothing if it wasn't for you, my Lord, my family. Like, what you did for me by giving me that money, like, it was incredible. And I basically, I just looked at him, I said, you know, Jeff, so long I'm profitable, I'm gonna give you $2,000 for the rest of your life until you die, period. And you guys can go talk to him. I've kept my word on all of that. I only say it because you gotta understand, you know, what Bill Selway did for me by co-signing, what Jeff did for me, those are the things that allow me to actually have what I have. You know, why I go and do so much for other people. Because it's not about me. You don't, you don't gain, you know, personal satisfaction from helping yourself. You gain the meaning of life from helping other people rise, right?